Welcome to Hillboro, everybody. Day two of Dune Week, or Labor Day, the week right before Labor Day weekend, and also the time when UTV invasion happens at the St. Anthony Sand Dunes. Today is Saturday, so it's gonna be one of the busiest times of uh, Labor Day weekend, especially with all the events happening. What we're gonna do today is we're in the side-by-sides, gonna leave from the shop here in St. Anthony, the town of St. Anthony, go through the desert, make our way all the way to the dunes, and just, you know, it's not a speed day today. Tons of people out there, we wanna be safe. Uh, we're just gonna leisurely ride the trails and then leisurely ride the dunes and just kinda see what's going on. Got the double X today. Dad's got his KRX. And then we have a new uh, rig to the channel, a friend of ours that uh, looks like he's ready to go. We'll introduce you later. And then of course, Brent from EOD. You about ready? Yeah. Should we get you belted in? Yeah. All right, hold that right there. Let's get your seatbelt working here. Is that too tight? Oh, that's good. Let's get ourselves ready. Let's go have some fun, Millie. We made it just north of St. Anthony. We're out at the first cistern. This is kind of the intersection to where you can choose to go to. Red Rock or Red Road uh, to the left uh, by trail, or you can go by dunes. We got everyone here today. You guys have met Brent before in the EOD car. He's always a good time to be with. And uh, we got someone new to the channel. A good friend of mine, Ian. He's actually neighbors to mom and dad and his daughter. Zoe. <laughs> and this is Ian's first time out here. He got himself a brand new uh, Talon R4. How are you liking it? Loving it so far. Good. First time pushing it. Well, we're going to be pushing it, maybe not today, but <laughs> and how are you guys? Good. <laughs> Good. So I got my boy Riker. Mom's here. And then Millie, my daughter, is riding shotgun with me. Say it's the busiest weekend of uh, the year out at St. Anthony Sand Dunes. There's millions and millions of dollars worth of machines out there, thousands of people. It's an absolute madhouse. Because of that, it's a good day to just kind of step back a little bit and just take it easy. Uh, it's one of the most dangerous weekends, and we're we're on typical naturally aspirated machines, so we're not going to be fast on the dunes. But it is fun to go and watch because there's drag races, there's big group rides, there's like I say, UTV Invasions event going on where you can go check out the vendors. We'll have ourselves a good day today. It'll be a little bit more laid back, but we're with good company, good friends, good family.
that for the first little bit on the dunes? It's good. You're making good time. Doing okay. Good. Turbo would be better. Huh? <laughs> the turbo would be better. Yeah. So we are in between kind of the east uh, side of the recreational part of the dunes and Thunder Mountain, which is just right over this little crest. It's kind of up on the butte a little bit on the north side. Well, south side of the butte, north side of the dunes. It's what I call zombie land because there's a lot of dead trees in the area right here and behind us. If any of us say, we'll meet you at zombie land, that's what it means, kind of up in this area. So you can see the traffic. I don't know if you can with the GoPro, but the traffic coming from the east end to the west end, everyone's traveling right through that section. And you can see with all the people in the parking lot, it is a busy day. You know if that's full, all the other resort spots are full too. I'm, I'm taking the pressure out because I these tires do much better lower. So I'm going to take them down to seven. I feel safe with that. That's seven right there. So and the bead locks. Yeah, so kind of the downside of hitting the dunes after the desert is you got knobbies. But honestly, I don't care. I like I like running regular tires on the dunes. Just have, just have to air them down. I think it's great. I'm glad to see them filled up. Where were you? That was a 10. They sound like cows. Yeah, those are a bunch of twin cylinder Polaris's. That's what you're hearing. A bunch of laboring cows <laughs> and KRX's. Hey, this is too. <laughs> The cinnamon roll cow tail. Holy crap. I wonder if that's still good. Do you know what a cow tail is? I didn't know they still made those. Cow tails were like one of my favorite treats when I was younger. The cow tails. <laughs> Yummy. I'd eat it. <laughs> I wonder how long it's been up here. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> Who, lo who knows how long that's been sitting Great. in that sand? Maybe decades. <laughs> Years. Years. <laughs> I made a mountain range. R Riker created the Grand Canyon. That looks way cool, Riker. Yeah. I made a national park. <laughs> <laughs> I made a national park. <laughs>
So we've been riding the dunes for a little bit, enjoying uh, a lot of the big dunes, staircase, and uh, everyone was getting a little hungry. And they're like, oh man, where do we find some shade? But without having to go all the way back. So I remembered from one of our previous videos that just uh, north between the dunes and the butte, there was a spot where it's kind of like an intersection came into the desert, a lot of trails, and there was this tree that provided lots of shade that was easy to rest in. And it's away from everyone, no one's gonna be coming around. So we're out in the middle of the desert, just north of the dunes, found a little shade. You guys hungry? Yeah. Yes. That one is I have my own personal <coughs> little bench. Meow. Did you see that deer? Yeah. Yeah. Well, big worry. dark one. I don't know if I've ever seen a deer that dark before. Sure, it wasn't a loose. <laughs> Lunch time. What are you doing up there? You're just like your dad when he was little. He had to climb every tree. Yeah, I, I had. Now all you got to do is go up to a twig that can barely hold a bird, and that's how high your dad would go. I can. I can <laughs> well, we made it out to Choke Cherry. We've had a good day just leaving St. Anthony, the town of St. Anthony, going through the trails, coming through the small dunes, the butte. And now we're out here in Choke Cherry. I think we've gone like 45 miles or so today already. And of course, you, as you would expect, it's uh, Pro R and Can Am, Maverick R's and X3's down here. They've been ripping up and down the sanding. I suspect this place will get very, very full before the end of the day, but I don't know if we're gonna stick around for that. We've been enjoying just riding for fun having a good time Stealth mode. You turn all these lights off. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Okay, that's a 
Lord I'll ask you to go for the looks good. He's the uh, fourth one in down there. Well, Dune Week, Labor Day weekend, UTV invasions was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun for me to be able to hang out with my family, hang out with old friends, as well as make new friends. It's always a blast to go out there, meet new people, see their creations, and just be excited for something they're excited about. But for me and my family, we're fortunate to live in the area. Uh, we can go out to the dunes, rip it hard pretty much whenever we want to. And so when the busy weekends come, such as Labor Day weekend, it's fun to kind of take it easy, let everyone else who comes in go out and rip really hard, and uh, just go watch them. I'd also like to just express my appreciation to all of you guys who watch and support Hillbro. It means the world to me because I really do enjoy it. I like creating content. For those of you new to the channel, we regularly do include a lot of content of the sand dunes. It's always fun and exciting to watch sand dune stuff. But also on this channel, we uh, explore other places in Idaho as well as the surrounding states. Everywhere we go, we try to connect off-road from St. Anthony. And so we'll start from here, make connecting routes from hundreds of miles away, and we will uh, stop and explore things in between, such as caves, old town sites, historical sites. And uh, we like to include a little bit of history because it is ultimately what allows us to enjoy a lot here in Southeast Idaho and the surrounding states is uh, the history from where we came, our heritage. And so if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. I hope you guys enjoy. We enjoy making content. We hope you guys enjoy it too. Also for everyone, we have a website called hillboro.com where I do have some merch. This is one of my favorite shirts. It's warning sandblasting in progress. Something you can wear, walk around, and show everyone that you are a Duner. You, enjoy, you do enjoy the sand dunes. I do have a lot of other fun shirts on the website, as well as some products that we have. For those of you guys running sand rails or project side-by-sides running aftermarket uh, four-point harnesses, uh, such as this one right here, I know these things can be a little bit burdensome because there's four straps that fall, get stuck behind the seat, and a lot of even new people like passengers don't quite understand how these work. That's why Hillbro has actually released its first patented product called the Hillbro Fastener. Side-by-side -side sand rails, race cars, drag cars, airplanes, uh, anyone that runs the four-point safety harnesses. It allows them to just quickly put them up and out of the way so they're easy to grab to put in, easy to put up when you're done. If something like that interests you, go check out hillbro.com because everyone knows along with having fun with these machines and recreating like we do, safety is key. But with safety, we also want to make it as easy and convenient to use as possible. Thanks everyone for watching, supporting us. We hope to see you out there next time. Thanks for watching Hillbro.